Dia here, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm making some seasoned homemade french fries. Come take a look. So this is what you're gonna need. Potatoes of your choice, cut up. I left the skin on. I like the skin on the potatoes. We have some pink Himalayan salt or salt of your choice. We have some liquid smoke, smoked paprika, dill weed, and oil of your choice. I have here some grapeseed oil. We're gonna start off by spraying our potatoes with oil so that our seasonings will stick. And toss them gently. You can use any seasoning that you want, um, even the like the onion soup mix package. Um, I've done that, but I just I was just playing around with some seasonings the other day, and I said, "Well, let me try a little of this and a little of that," and it came out delicious. So we're gonna take. I have no measurements though. This is our smoked paprika. I want to say maybe two tablespoons if I had to give you measurements. Dill weed. Oh, that smells so good. I love the smell of smoked paprika. Also about two tablespoons. And then two, it depends on how many potatoes you have cut. Ah, the liquid smoke. Um. Say about a half a teaspoon, and lastly, my pink salt. I'm just gonna do maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, and then we're gonna mix. And that's it. Toss it, toss it, toss it, toss it. And then what I'm going to do is put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. So when I feel like some french fries, I don't have to worry about all of the preservatives and stuff on the seasoned french fries in the store. I have my own. Remember the breadcrumb crumbles we created for the top of the mac and cheese? Well... I bagged up one with just the seasoning. And now I put the crumbles on top of the seasoned fries. So I can't wait to see what this comes out like in our Ninja Foodies. See? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And do share. Let me know what seasonings you come up with. And if you tried this one, let me know if you liked it. All right. Peace and love.